both the Samrenzi Party and the Human Rights Party are democratic parties. Both of us uphold liberal values, especially on the Cambodian political scene. Our parties represent the patriots and the democrats. These are the most important forces with the new party that regroup the Samrenzi Party and the Human Rights Party. It will be a dominant political force that will shape the history of Cambodia. We will present a single list of candidates for the July 2013 national election. This is the first time that the democratic forces present a unique, only one list of candidates. And we are sure that this will result in a sharp increase in the number of members of parliament from the democratic opposition. And I am confident that the, the opposition next year will become the ruling party and the current ruling party will become the opposition. The creation of this united opposition movement, we call it the democratic movement, Cambodia's democratic movement for the rescue, for national rescue. This will create a new momentum that will push all the democratic forces and the patriotic forces to unite, to come out, those who were still hesitant, those who did not have much hope, this time they will show up, they will come and regroup and unite with the new movement. Which, have, which will have a determining support to win the next election. And the new movement will call, will make a strong and vibrant call that this is the time. This is the historical time for all Cambodians who want to redress the situation, to bring about democracy and justice, to show their support, to take an active part in the development of the democratic force for national rescue. It is necessary to rebuild Cambodia on new basis. New basis means democracy, liberty, justice, to make Cambodia a modern country in line with the world trends. So this is our duty. This is a necessity 
for our country to call all Cambodians to fulfill together this national mission to save our country and to rebuild it on a modern basis in line with the world trends. We are confident that Cambodia, which is now one of the most backward countries, one of the poorest countries in the world, will be not in a too distant future, a modern country, a country in Southeast Asia, a country in ASEAN, a country that will help Democrats, liberals in this region of the world to promote and to strengthen democracy. Freedom is for every human being. Like On San Suu Kyi said, use your freedom to help ensure the freedom of others. We are very grateful to liberals around the world to help us fight and I'm sure very soon get our freedom. We will never forget the solidarity of liberals all over the world and we will continue the mission, the mission of all liberals to promote freedom for humanity. Aung San Suu Kyi in Burma is and will remain an inspiring example, model for us Cambodian liberals. And we are grateful to the example given by prominent liberals and Democrats such as Aung San Suu Kyi. But Anwar Ibrahim in Malaysia also is a example of courage, of perseverance. We will continue to seek solidarity with those liberals and democrats in Asia and in all over the world. In our current fight, we are hopeful that liberals and democrats in the Council of Asian Liberals and Democrats and all members of Liberal International, beyond these two organizations that are other liberals, other Democrats, other justice-loving people, other humanists, we call on to support the cause of freedom in Cambodia. We are fighting an uphill battle. The current regime of Mr. Hun Sen, who is a former Khmer Rouge, his party the Cambodian People's Party, which is a former communist party, tries to eliminate the opposition, especially me, Sam Renzi, as the leader of the opposition. The current regime in Cambodia wants to prevent me from taking part in the next election in July 2013. So I call on liberals, democrats all over the world to help put pressure on the Cambodian government to make them understand that without the participation of the leader of the opposition, the next elections in Cambodia would be meaningless 
would be worthless, would be unacceptable. This is the pressure that the Hun Sen government must receive from the international community to allow me, Sam Ren Si, as the leader of the opposition, to return safely in my country and to freely take part in the next election to ensure that the next election is free, fair, acceptable, to ensure that the next government in Phnom Penh will be a government that represents the will of the Cambodian people. This is the only way to ensure stability, sustainability, real development in Cambodia. Then Cambodia will be a pole of stability, a pole of democracy, which will help strengthen real stability. The real stability is based on democracy. So Cambodia will help ensure real stability, democracy, and prosperity for Asia and for the whole world.